It was a horrible feeling, followed by an even worse one. An Albuquerque woman's home broken into, and whoever did it took something irreplaceable. News 13's Brittany Bates spoke to the woman today. Dean and Jess, this APS teacher came home to her door pried open and both of her dogs gone. At first, she just thought they got out, but now she fears something much more sinister. So when I drove in, I didn't hear any barking. An eerie silence. That really freaked me out. Accompanied by an unsettling sight. They broke through the glass door and ransacked everything and stole things. Last Saturday afternoon, burglars broke into one at Alvis's home near Copper and Wantabo, making off with things like laptops and jewelry. Material things can be replaced eventually. But they also took her two dogs, Sophie and Lazarus. Amazingly. <laughs> Corgi Mick, Sophie, showed up at the animal shelter. Sophie was found quickly, I say, within a day. But purebred Corgi Lazarus wasn't with her. I think at this point, since we haven't seen any hide or tail of him, then I think that maybe someone has him in their yard or has taken him. Elvis and Lazarus's breeder, Kathy Chapel. Where's Les? Worry either the thieves or someone else realized this $1,000 dog's worth and took him for themselves. Absolutely. I mean, and that's animal control has kind of voiced that concern too. Chapel and other corgi lovers are busy posting these pleas for information all across town. And I'm very, very <laughs> emotional about it. To me, it's kidnapping. These are my kids. These dogs are my life. While all this and Sophie search neighborhoods and shelters. I would hope that you know, they'd have it in their heart to know that dogs are part of members of the family and that I want my dog back. All trying to make this home whole again. Including Lazarus, the thieves made off with at least $5,000 worth of Alvis's property. APD is investigating the case. Back to you, Jess. All right, thank you, Brittany. There is a reward for anyone who brings Lazarus home safe. We have contact information on our website, krqe.com.